Hey everyone, Mike here and in this clip we're going to talk about a few of my favorite apps for the Samsung Galaxy S5, except for those already pre-installed on the phone, which I'll address in a different video. First on my list is Dropbox, my cloud storage solution of choice. Samsung does include 50GB of free Dropbox storage space with the S5 available for 2 years, so if you're not using this service already, that should at least convince you to give it a try. I for one use Dropbox to sync various files between different devices and to quickly move content from one device to another. The cross-platform support means that it works with PCs, iOS and Android devices, so it's a solution I can have on all my gadgets. Last but not least, the Dropbox app also comes with an automatic camera upload feature, great for backing up your videos and photos. Then comes Evernote, the capable notes and reminders app. Evernote is free by default and allows you to create different types of memos, tag and organize them. There is however a premium version included, which sells for around 5 bucks a month, and adds extra features including collaborative notes, password protected notes and the ability to search inside PDF files. Samsung does bundle a few months of Evernote Premium with the S5, so you should at least give it a chance. Next comes MX Player, which is one of the most capable multimedia players available on Android devices. It works with all sorts of files, from MOVs to MP4s and MKVs, it supports subtitles and both hardware and software decoding. The hardware decoding means that the phone is going to last longer when running these videos, and that's always appreciated. Shazam is another useful app, as it helps you find and tag music. You can then listen to those songs on YouTube, buy them from Google Music or Amazon if those services are allowed in your country, or access news and concert information for the found bands. Shazam is free, and while it's only one of the many similar apps, I do find it the fastest and the better looking of the bunch. I also have Feedly on the S5 as the main way to keep up to date with my daily use. Of course I could use the My Magazine app included with the new Galaxy for that, but I've gotten used to this app's feel and mechanics. Plus it works well most of the time, so there's no need to change it. QuizUp is another app I've been using quite a lot lately. It's basically an online multiplayer quiz game, and you can have your friends or other real players as adversaries. You need to answer questions as fast as possible and gather points. Whichever has the more points at the end of a 7 rounds game wins. The app contains a huge collection of quizzes organized on countless sections and subsections, so if you want to learn new stuff in an addictive and challenging environment, this app is clearly for you. Last but not least come the smart tools, an app I've bought a few years ago that still resides on all my Android devices. It's not something that I use daily, but it does contain a nice selection of tools that can come in handy one day. A compass, a flashlight, a ruler or a decibel meter, among others. Alright, these are just a few of the apps that I keep and tend to use often on my Samsung Galaxy S5. However, I would really love to try new apps as well, so if you have any suggestions of great apps that I could use, go ahead and leave your comments below, and I'll have a follow up video with all the good findings in the near future. For now, thanks for watching and don't forget to hit that thumbs up button if you enjoyed the video. And of course, for more details on the Samsung Galaxy S5, you should definitely check out the other clips on my channel. See you soon!